Choosing 3-inch propellers, it can be hard to decide what you should get. Which brand? Should you choose two or three blades? Which pitch should you choose? Which color gives more thrust? Watermelon pink or fecal matter brown? I've been using Emacs Avan props for years, and I'm curious if there are better options available now. I've purchased eight different modern 3-inch polycarbonate propellers and put them in the ring to see which perform the best. So moving forward, we'll both be able to make an informed decision. It's time for battle. Recursion Lab. For science. In tonight's 3-inch propeller Royal Rumble, we'll have the following contenders. Gemfan 3-blade 3.5-inch pitch bullnose propellers. Emacs Avan 3-blade 2.4-inch pitch propellers. Gemfan Hurricane 3-blade 1.6-inch pitch propellers. Gemfan Hurricane 2-blade 1.8-inch pitch propellers. HQ Prop 2-blade 2-inch pitch propellers. Heads up HQ Prop 3-blade 1.8-inch pitch propellers. HQ Prop 2-blade 3-inch pitch propellers. HQ Prop 3-blade 3-inch pitch propellers. Like all battles, first we must weigh in the contenders. To do this, I used a high precision scale accurate to 0.001 grams. Propeller weight is not irrelevant, as inertia does exist, and with small aircraft, every gram matters. This chart shows the weight of each propeller alongside four of them. The Gemfan Hurricane is the lightest of the two blade propellers, and the Emacs Avan propeller is the lightest of the three blade high pitch propellers, near parity with the two blade HQ Prop 3 inch pitch propeller. With the weigh in complete, now we battle. For these tests, I've used my fully automated variable controlled mortar and propeller testing methodology, which you can learn about in detail in the video linked in the description. These tests were all conducted on the same Emacs 1306B 1400 kV motor, driven by a 30 amp BL Heli 32 ESC, regulated at 16 volts to emulate a forest battery. Let's start with thrust, by showing the raw thrust output of each propeller through the throttle range. For thrust outputs, the HQ Prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller takes the lead across all RPMs, followed closely behind by the Emacs Avan 3 blade 2.4 inch pitch propeller. Lower down, the two blade three inch pitch HQ prop propeller surprisingly gives a clear amount of additional thrust, just over the Gemfan three blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller. Below them, the two blade two inch pitch HQ prop propeller are neck and neck, with the Gemfan Hurricane three blade 1.6 inch pitch propeller. The heads up three blade 1.8 inch pitch propeller gives a disappointing amount of thrust comparatively, but all of these propellers can both redeem themselves or become non competitive when battling over efficiency. Now, this is a beautiful chart, which shows the amount of grams of thrust delivered per watt of motor power through the throttle range. The less watts required per gram of thrust, the better. Up to about 40% throttle, there are two clear groups of propellers, where the more aggressive two or three blade propellers perform significantly better in the lower throttle range, with the HQ Prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller taking the lead at the start and then taking a nose dive while still leading over the Emacs Avan 3 blade 3.4 inch pitch propeller. The most interesting propeller here is the Gemfan 3 blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller, which breaks from the trend and maintains decent efficiency across the throttle range. The heads up HQ Prop 3 blade 1.8 inch pitch propeller doesn't seem to redeem itself here, but overall there is a clear efficiency trade off in the upper throttle range for the less aggressive propellers. Next comes the most important results, directly comparing the amount of thrust generated by watts of power. This is a bit of a mess, and I think we need to break this apart into individual segments. Enhance. Looking at the first 60 grams of thrust, or about hover for a typical sub 250 gram quad, we clearly see the HQ Prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller in the lead, alongside the more aggressive propellers in line with our previous analysis. The heads up HQ Prop 3 blade 1.8 inch pitch propeller ties with the HQ Prop 2 blade 2 inch pitch propeller as the worst in efficiency. The next 60 grams is where things start to get interesting, as the previous leaders quickly dip in efficiency at around 80 to 100 grams of thrust, with the exception of the Gemfan 3 blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller, which seems to be unaffected, now holding the efficiency lead. The heads up HQ Prop 3 blade 1.8 inch pitch propeller hold steady at the bottom for efficiency. Looking at the next 80 grams of thrust, the Emacs Avan 3 blade 2.4 inch pitch propeller and still leading of the pair, the HQ Prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller continue to dip in efficiency. The Gemfan 3 blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller starts to decline in efficiency slightly at around 175 grams of thrust, where the Gemfan 3 blade 1.6 inch pitch propeller takes the efficiency lead above 180 grams of thrust. And now for the final stretch. The Emacs Avan 3 blade 2.4 inch pitch propeller and the HQ Prop 3 blade 3 3 inch pitch propeller continue their efficiency trajectory, with the HQ Prop widening the gap in favor of efficiency, also beating out the Avan in top thrust. The Gemfan 3 blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller comes back in tying for best efficiency, and then takes a clear lead in top thrust above the efficiency competitors. Heads up HQ Prop 3 blade 1.8 inch pitch propeller continues.
continues to disappoint. With just an average top end efficiency and a maximum thrust that gets beaten by the two blade two inch pitch HQ prop propeller. The 1.6 inch pitch three blade gem fan performs better here in every way. Next, we will test to see how well these propellers cut through flesh. Okay, we, we, we better stop here. So, I've pointed out some clear losers, but who is the winner? Based on the data, there are two that stand out in different categories based on build and flight requirements. The HQ Prop 3 Blade 3 inch pitch propeller stands out as the winner for overall performance. It has the best low end efficiency, which is very important, and can deliver the greatest punch when needed, assuming your battery can keep up. The Gem Fan 3 Blade 3.5 inch pitch propeller wins for best overall efficiency. This propeller is a unicorn in the entire efficiency spectrum and should be seriously considered if you spend a lot of time in the upper throttle range or wish to use a smaller battery that pairs nicely with the extra efficiency at the cost of top end that you might not have been able to use anyway. I've put these two propellers on two sub 200 gram HD 3 inch builds I have where the only component difference is the frame and flew them back to back. I started with the HQ Prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller. While it flew as well as expected, something felt off. Muscle memory is a funny thing, and after flying 3 inch quads with Avan props for a long time, the slight change in thrust characteristics was close enough to not feel like I'm flying something new, but different enough to feel like something is off. An uncanny valley of flight feel. That aside, the quad flew amazing, and I couldn't pick out negatives that wouldn't be caught in testing outside of maybe needing to tweak the PID slightly to compensate for the additional prop wash that might be due to the additional thrust. I never felt like I needed more thrust, and never once topped out the throttle. I think I'll be able to replace the Avans with these moving forward forward for this type of aggressive flying. Switching to the gem fan, three things stood out. First, the difference in throttle was enough to make it feel like I'm flying a different quad for sure. It felt like I had greater control on the low end as the throttle resolution would be greater due to the lower thrust. They were definitely louder, probably partially attributed to requiring higher RPMs to achieve the same amount of thrust. Comparing both props at max throttle, these sounded like smaller props comparatively with a higher pitch squeal. There were a few cases where I topped out on throttle, wishing they had more chooch. The voltage sag was much better on these and the flight time were longer, I definitely could have gotten away with a smaller battery, which would require less thrust. These are just my opinions, and you have the same information I have, so I would love to hear yours in the comment section based on your own interpretation of the data, which you can find a copy of in the video description. If you have a propeller that I've missed in these tests, wish to throw it into the ring to see how it compares, and are willing to donate it to science, reach out to me using the email provided in the video description. I also plan to do testing on other sub 250 gram class motors and propellers over the coming months.